What's up guys, peace and blessings. I'm gonna make this real quick. Uh, someone sent me an article on the monkey uh, thingy that's going on. And uh, I'm not gonna say the full word. I'm just gonna say monkey, monkey see, monkey do. And the minute I did like, it took like two minute research for me to realize, okay, this is a real plague from God. And one thing about me, I add up pieces to the puzzle. I always like to add up pieces to the puzzle. And one thing I learned about that plague is that it started in San Francisco first, okay? It started in San Francisco. What do they, and I live by San Francisco, so I know what goes on over there. Like what's really being promoted in San Francisco? The LG community, okay? They just got done with their Pride Month, uh, marching on the streets. You got children right next to it. And I'm not here to judge anyone on that lifestyle. All I could just be is be a messenger. The Bible says that those who live that type of lifestyle will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's not what Mark the messenger says. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. And one thing that's happening right now is God is judging the, nat the nations, okay? God is judging the nations. And now, now from what I've seen, that now any, like, you don't have to be the LG to, to get the monkey. It's all um, sexuality, whatever, right? So, but it started in see, That's why I told you guys all the time. All these diseases, it all starts with sin. Okay, sin is what allows these plagues to come on this earth. And, you know, and God judges, you know, that's so why I told you guys. God is judging this earth. I knew it, guys. I told you guys this, the you know what? The you know what the other thing that is going on that they're that they're pushing you know you got to wear a mask six feet. I'm talking about that one right? I told you guys I wasn't the only one and this also this this new this monkey see monkey do okay that's also there's gonna be many more plagues guys this is Egypt even the Bible says that uh, America Babylon is spiritual Egypt if you go to Las Vegas what do you see you see the pyramids there's nothing new under the sun it's just in different locations now okay but spiritually this is Egypt okay the sins of Egypt are now in, in Babylon okay. And I want people to understand that now is not the now is not the time to under, to think that there's many times to get right. God is really judging the nations. It's time to change. The people in, in Egypt, when he was sending plagues after plagues, uh, they hardened their heart. And that's what many people are doing. They're hardening their heart. And if you are struggling with a certain sin, understand that with Jesus Christ, you could overcome everything. When you allow his spirit in you, the Holy Spirit in you, I'm telling you, you can overcome any sin, even not just with that sin, right? It could be like you struggle with like pornography, right? Pornography, masturbation, whatever the case may be, okay? I know it's not just sexual morality, but other things, okay? You got to understand what the Bible says. The Bible says to submit yourself, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Ask yourself this. Have you, are you submitting to God or are you giving in to the urges? You know, are you, you know, willfully giving in to those temptations? You know not to be in a certain situation. God has called you out of certain environments, certain, or certain friendships, certain people, but you keep giving yourself over into that. You're not submitting to God when you live that, when you do that. When God's telling you not to go to this certain club, or a certain environment, okay? Or not, God's telling you not to hang out with this person, not to hang out with her, get rid of that relationship, okay? And how you so you, sub, you submit to God because you obey him, you're like, okay, you know, and yeah, you're gonna have some, you're gonna have to suffer alone because that's what comes with being the chosen one. Many people are not gonna wanna be with you because you're of the light and they're still of the darkness and the light in you beams in you so they could see it. The people in the darkness, they could see it. And with some of these demons, it bothers them, okay? Some of them, they get humble and like, dang, you know, it look, they look at you like, you know, maybe I gotta change, I gotta get right. God's, God's, maybe God's working through them to, you know, so he could, you know, change me in due time. You know, now everyone has their season. Everyone has their time. It all starts as a seed. Never underestimate, under, uh, never underestimate the power of the seed. So you got to water, plant the seed in them and hope that that seed grows because the Bible even talks about how the sower sows a seed, the seed being the word of God and the devil comes and he takes it out of their minds. He takes it out of their hearts that they may be changed. And that's what the devil's doing in these last days, right? He's, he's planting seeds in people, right? Or sorry, sorry. That's um, the children of God, right? The servants of God. We're planting seeds in the people with the word of God, with the truth, okay? And people are wanting to change. They wanted to get right. And within due, within due time, a couple months, a couple weeks, a couple days, whatever, right? The devil comes and the word that was planted in their heart, the devil comes and takes it out. And now they go back to their old ways. Now they go back to their vomit. Now they, they don't have the chance to be on a narrow path so they could be saved, okay? That's the parable that Jesus spoke on in Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 15. So I'm not here to judge the um, the people, the LG community. I don't care how people live their life. It has nothing to do with me, nothing. Okay, as long as it doesn't affect me and my family, I'm straight. But I'm letting you guys know that this plague, this monkey see, monkey do, I have to speak in code, by the way, guys. That's why I'm calling it that. That's from God. It's not a coincidence. It's, it, it's all the cities, all the countries in the world, and it, had, and it started in San Francisco. Like, people got to wake up. It all starts with sin. Okay, it all starts with sin. And, you know, like I was telling you guys earlier uh, in my previous video is that the, the you know what won't be the only play. There's going to be many more. And, and, you know, and 
I, I personally believe that there's gonna be more lockdowns too. But right now people are comfortable. The gas is going back down. Things are opening back up again. We don't have to go to the store and wear a mask. Uh, you know, people, you know, they're not being that strict, especially over here. If you live in a liberal state like California, like, you know, people are like, they're not they're no longer forcing on you, but that's just how it is. You know, they, it, things might appear to get better so people could get distracted. But I'm telling you guys, things are only to get worse. Just prepare. Uh, God is not playing with not just the LGD, the LGD community, but he's also not playing with anyone who's still living in willful sin. Anyone who doesn't want to accept Jesus in their life, he ain't playing. Judgment has hit the earth. I'm telling you guys, we try to get, get right. Okay, the Bible even says um, that the judgment will first hit the house of God first. So if you know the truth, if you know the way and you're still living in willful sin, disobedience, now is the time to get right. Once again, this is not a message. I'm not trying to cast a stone at anybody. Just warning you guys and letting you guys know the things to come. Things are not going to get better. You know, uh, I know the news is going to tell you they're going to try to put give you, you know, more problems, more problems. And if they give you solutions, right, they give you solutions going to be carnal solutions. OK, we got to understand that things are spiritual and how we fight it back. How do we fight back against the spiritual warfare is being, you know, having a spiritual mind, which is life and peace. And always understand that when it comes to these last days, you know, you have people telling you to prepare, you know, carnally stock up on food, water. And I'm not against that. I'm not demonizing anyone who does that, you know, more power to you. But most importantly, we got to be preparing spiritually, preparing our faith in Christ. And like I said, if you are struggling with the sin, if you are struggling with a sin, not just, you know, homosexuality, anything, you know, any other sins, right? Always understand that if you submit to God and resist the devil, the devil will flee from you. When you allow the Holy Spirit in, you don't, I'm telling you, it's a lot easier. I, I mean, I wish people could, some people could experience what I'm feeling when you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. Now, am I going to be perfect? Am I going to be without sin? Obviously not. But it makes it a lot easier to fight against this flesh. Uh, you know, even the Bible says that, you know, that that's an abomination. Okay. Not gonna even say God. I'm not gonna try to trigger anything. Guys, <laughs> it's an abomination to God. Okay, it's an abomination to God. Get right, do better. You know, like I said, we all fall short of the glory, of God. But at the same time, let's not make excuses. Um, God is not playing, bro. I'm telling you, He's not playing with, with, with that community. Okay, it's planning, telling little children it's okay to do that. That's just not right to me. That's that's nasty, bro. That's telling little children to do. That. If you want to let that lifestyle, that's on you. But don't push it on these little babies. Okay, that's the reason why, guys, I'm not putting my, my children in, in public schools, bro, because this world is always okay with sin. It's always okay with Satan's way. It's because Satan, the, the God of this world, Satan, has blinded the minds of them who believe not. Okay, so uh, understand that this is Egypt, the times of now. Woo, I see, but I'm, I'm happy because I know that right, it, it draws near that, you know, if I'm on this right path and if you're on that right path too, count it all joy. Now, the people who are on the other side, they got to reap the consequences. They got to reap, you know, judgment, destruction. And like I said, guys, if you're still breathing, people ask me this all the time. Is it is this still time for me to get right? Well, if you're still breathing, the answer is yes. If you are still breathing, the answer is yes. So one, thing, one thing about God, how loving God is, how much he's full of grace, that he gives people the last breath to repent. A lot of people, guys, they got saved last second. Okay, they were in their deathbed. Uh, they were in the hospital bed, whatever, right? And the last second they accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, last second they repented, and that is a grace. But should you wait? Okay, should you tempt God? Because who knows if that will happen to you? God just had a grace on them. Okay, that's one thing that God showed me that people last second he he granted them grace. Okay, now of course there's rewards in heaven. Those people aren't gonna get rewarded compared to those who are suffering, but always understand that even though we 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 know us people, especially if you watch my videos, subscribe to my channel, you know, bro, I'm always exposing spiritual warfare, exposing certain sins that's keeping us in bondage. But I also give you guys solutions. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. These plagues are only to come. There's going to be more and more. Uh, people are going to harden their heart, just like they did in Egypt. There's nothing new under the sun. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.